Alright. There you go. This is Losers Finals. Losers Finals. Uh, okay. So, uh, I'm glad that Flarpy is, is using a different color, because now I know I have closure what would happen if it was Flarp versus XYK. Flarp will say, Flarp would let XYK have it. He'd say, you could have it. I like, I like XYK in the chat saying, hoping to learn something from the set, want to see how Flarp approaches it. This is such a good chance. Like, I, I feel like you never get the chance to just watch the person who just beat you play the exact same matchup. Right, like this is so unique a thing to happen, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Just like right after, especially at, at like a higher level. Yo, I'm getting some frame rate drops here on your stream. Are, Are you? you? Let me try, uh, no, so that's definitely on my end. So let me try and stream, not Dolphin. You can uh, have the double vision that I have. How's that? Vapor wheels? You are absolutely right. This is a very long edition of One Bat Wednesday. Hoping to learn something from the set. Want to see how Flarp approaches it. Death's a touch of death for Game & Watch. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Really uh, touching him to death there. <laughs> As touch of deaths usually go. Watch is literally better than most Game & Watch, man. I mean, to be fair, he's fucking loser's final of... Uh, 40 man stacked ass 40 man bracket so gotta be better than most game watch mains like get your disappointment ready oh no uh so some people in the stream may be asking hey where's wombat Ooh. wombat is on a sunny farm in nashville tennessee possibly big he sleeping. is grazing on all the alfalfa he can eat and he's uh, prancing around with all of his other Wombat buddies, and he is just having such a good time. You don't need to worry about Wombat. Yeah. Honestly, Wombat allowed to take a little break. If we can get Wombat Wednesday finishing up without Mr. T.O. Man at the late stages, we're good, you know? It's the early mm -hmm. stages that are the absolute fucking hair pulling out trouble to run and he yeah. gets us through it every week someone send him a and postcard like, we will chat post for picture for wombat who would i complain to my, complain about my seating to mm, wombat actually loves it when you message him about seating right around 7 702 that's his shit it, it has to be right after brackets are finalized yeah, yeah, yeah don't don't do it before maybe a little bit before a couple seconds but otherwise you're gonna you're gonna make him upset Mm-hmm. Giant thank you email with everyone CC'd? That's a great idea, XYK. Yeah, dude. It's like it's like one of those oversized get well student cards. <laughs> but it's like as a handwritten signature from like every Wombat Wednesday regular. Mm. And the message is just <coughs> you seed me too high or, or you seed me <laughs> to fight the homie first round. Just the book of seeding complaints. Don't you know? I play this person at every local weekly, local five-man weekly. Don't you know that this guy was at my house a month ago, mm. and we played some PM before we loaded up some, some Call of Duty? Dog, I beat someone who went 2-1 against Flarp five months ago. Don't you think I should be a little higher seated? Please. Not to brag, but I got Emu Killer down to two stocks. Mm. I think that says something about my position in this bracket. True. Just a good point. Wombat's got to be more careful about the seating. Mm -hmm. He needs to know every single insignificant facet about every two tour. Mm hmm. Honestly, so fucking impressive. If you look at any large net play weeklies mr wombat you see me perfectly thank you for your efforts that's not the vibe we're going for here no get wombat i think luigi's on death's door here don't even add him at the term in discord 
message him directly on Facebook. Any penny th almost threw that stock away. That had to work. Yeah. That was so scary. <laughs> Where's Annie from? Uh, he's from New York. Uh, Annie's from New York. Uh, the flarp is from, uh, it's from Massachusetts. Okay. Just, just give me, just give me a couple minutes here. You're good. I'm uh, just taking in some high level P plus. And drinking my watermelon Mountain Dew X vodka. Seraphim, I know you're you're thanking us from telling you for telling you where any panties from. But like at first glance, I thought you were thanking Nightbot for handing you the bracket so swiftly. So many Luigi's, yeah, that's Wombat Wednesday in a nutshell, brother. Horrible? No, it's a it's a blessing. Don't make me explain, but it's a blessing. In my tiny PM brain, I feel like this is a pretty advantageous matchup for for Game & Watch. Game & Watch just feels like he would have such an easy time outspacing Luigi. But, uh, you know, who fucking knows? I don't know what their kill confirms on each other are. I don't know what the counterplay here is. Little did you know the Tourney Cedar was Project M Nexus himself? Uh, that's insane. Definitely a good matchup for Game & Watch. Yeah, it kind of feels like it. Moto Cedar? Oh, Moto Bug is actually the Cedar. Winning at least. Yeah, feels like it. Jab left tilt. Pretty big lead for uh, Annie Panny. I feel like Annie Panny's done such a better job of uh, working his leads uh, than the two Luigi's we've seen him fight so far. A really good F tilt by Flarp to take that stock, but like I feel like Annie Panny gets a lead, and Annie Panny just kind of lets Flarp hang out by ledge, uh, throw fireballs, do whatever. And just make sure, above all, you keep stage position and, like, pressures Luigi in the corner. As opposed to when Flarp's been getting a lead, uh, there's been moments where he overcommits and just gives Andy Penny control, stage control back. And it's kind of costing him. Should I switch from Marth to Game & Watch? From what I know for, of P+, uh, my expert opinion is that I don't know enough about P+, to answer. Chat? Hello, P plus experts in chat. Help me out. That's a you question, though. If I'm gonna rely on that chat. Um, I think that while it's pretty even for the most part, um, so Mark has a couple things on Mr. Game Watch. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is movement, especially if they have really solid dash dance, as well as wave dashing all over the place. Yeah. He also has good range from frame day with his sword. I feel like uh, Game & Watch has that good, that same good range, though. I don't know. I feel... Alright, so, like, my actual opinion, when it's like, should I switch from X character X to Y character? It's like, if you care about results, and they're about equal, the, the, the tiny difference in, like, character quality shouldn't matter to you. If you're switching from a top tier to a top tier, or a high tier to a high tier, it's like, who the fuck cares? Like, play who you want. 
Because in the in the long run, if you're playing who you want, it's gonna end up in you like it's gonna result in you playing the game more and like practicing more, and you're gonna be better even if the, this character is like two spots lower on the tier list. Uh, thanks for the I follow, by the way. I have said it better myself, and that's why I will always use my main King DDD. Oh my God. Yeah, for sure. Let's go, Flarp. I felt just... Let's go, Flarp. Just call fucking... him out the sure you can. Yeah, that was just fucking raw, right? <laughs> or did I miss yeah. a setup? More memeing with the question, but I appreciate the well-thought-out answer. Hey, look, man. Sometimes I'm going to give a well-thought-out answer where it doesn't belong. And I don't need to take it back. <laughs> Yeah, that was just a straight up sure you, right? Like I felt so taken aback by it that like I thought there had to be a setup I missed. Uh-huh. Nope, just called him out. Yeah, someone uh, definitely caught that. Yeah. One one. So we're going back to PS2. This is like the gentleman's honor stage. Hide from the world? Now that's a thought. We don't want other Luigi's to develop the power to just do it to a fool. Mm -hmm. That's a little too much. Oh, there it is. It's clipped. Uh, it's beyond our control now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Flip. What the fuck? So what, what benefits do you get from crawling? I see Luigi's use it a lot. Uh, sometimes it's it's a little just them being silly, but I feel like there's some benefits. Like, obviously you're always crouch canceling, right? You're always crouch canceling. And let me tell you about scuttle dashing. Okay. As a, I'm pretty sure that's what JTM means, but uh, if you wave dash and you crawl out of wave dash, you do not lose the slip slidey momentum from the wave dashing. Uh -oh. So if you crawl while you're sliding and you're not stopping sliding, you cover a further distance because like you're you're, you're doing like, the combined distance of both. Right, you're like adding that movement to the wave dash, and also you're always yeah. CCing. Okay, that's like, yeah, I can see that how that's powerful. <laughs> I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Flarp, I feel like has just gotten a read on any penny like. Yeah, that Flarp's a good player. I mean, Antis Oh my is god! Flarp <laughs> is Flarp, and you just gotta know when you parp. Who the fuck does that? I feel like he was just dead there if he missed that. So, um... So, fun fact about Luigi. So he has an alternate skin set. You yeah. might be familiar with, like, um, the Super Paper Mario villain, Mr. L. Who's like brainwashed Luigi in that game? Okay. And he has a sort of evil black suit, and he has a uh, super villain mask. So he has a white alt for his uh, Mr. L costume, and he looks just like the kind of guy who'd walk up to your doorstep and give you your daily bottle of milk. Mm. Or is it weekly? I wasn't born in the fifties. He's a milkman, okay? Just a stand-up dude. Who who delivers milk? Yeah, it's like the opposite of Mr. L. You think it's Luigi, but no, it's it's Milkman Mr. L. I like that. That's a good skin. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, so I thought Annie Panny went for the trade again. I'm glad that wasn't the case. Because uh, mm -hmm. it would have... That's the one time it would have just been fucking bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. That would have been oopsie poopsie right there. Oh yeah. I think we got Flarp without a... Yeah, without a jump, so... Trouble for Luigi. Hmm. He'll be fine. Yeah, turns He'll out. He'll be fine. Turns out he's alright. Um, probably just like less scary for Game & Watch though to challenge Luigi misfires than like almost any other character because of that forward air. Did he happen to catch who ate Mr. Game & Watch's food? I did not. Oh, okay. Okay, Imagine gosh. if that could happen, if you like wave dash into an apple in real life, and then it turns out you've eaten the apple. Hmm. That's like, uh, yeah, you pick stuff up off the ground just like by accident. Yeah. I wave dash into him. Alright, Annie Penny 
even up the stocks, but 86 yeah. feels bad, especially with how hard a read Flarps had on when Andy Panny's about to commit. Yeah. Big center stage. Yep, 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 yep. All right, two on Flarp. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. I just want to wave dash IRL. Uh, learn to directional air dodge and get back to us. I'll be right back. Oh boy, now Mole Drifter is really unchecked. We got that PM percent. We're not, uh... We're not vibing here if we're if our names are Anzi Pansy. Right, so alright. Um Let me tell you about these guys. They are throwing out a lot of attacks. I would hate to be on the receiving ends of either one of them. If you wanna know the truth. Especially Anzi Pansy. He has only gotten like a couple mirrors worth of damage. All right, uh, cancels the down smash into a down tilt. Attacks with a manhole cover. Who would do that? Who would bring a whole ass manhole cover to their, uh, to a fight? Honestly, now that, you, now that I think of it, it doesn't seem like a very bad idea. Steady as shit. If you lift that shit and, like, drop it on someone, then, yeah, uh, you got yourself, uh, you don't really have a fight, cause, uh, he already did something about it. Alright, so uh, so much for that lead. We got that fancy feet flarp. Maintaining the tie. I couldn't have said it better myself, Mr. XYK. Flarp. Nog. Wait, what does that mean? It, like, like Nog, like Nog Gorilla? Nog, like Eggnog? Doesn't matter, back and forth. Back and forth these guys are going. Bits! Wow! Thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Also, I'm What back. even are those? So they're uh, pennies, I think. I think they're pennies. I don't know, hmm. but they're money. We always appreciate that. The bits. The bits. Boat and XYK in general? Get the fuck in here. Jesus Christ. But, uh... Hey, what's up, people who know about PM? Oh my god. It's XYK. What's up, kids? So. How, you, how you going, man? Doing all right. Ten bucks.